This is a TAM UCC public service announcement. Stress in the immune system. This is you, an average college student. You are familiar with stress, and you probably have heard that stress affects the immune system. But what is stress in a biological context? The definition is quite elaborate, but is necessary to understand how stress can affect the immune system. Stress all begins with a stimulus, which is any event that causes a reaction. Now, the stimulus will activate the sympathetic nervous system, the part of your nervous system that handles stressful stimuli. This can bring on the fight or flight response. The fight or flight response is an evolutionary trait where if an organism is presented with danger, it will respond in a way to preserve itself. So how exactly does the neurological response connect with the immune system? Well, there is a biochemical pathway that connects the brain to the adrenal gland. But today, we are going to focus on the chemical released by the adrenal gland. The first chemical is cortisol. Now cortisol inhibits immune system cell signaling, which is how the immune cells talk to one another. Cortisol also raises blood glucose levels, which can lower blood pH. The next set of chemicals released by the adrenal glands are the catecholamines. Now the interesting thing about catecholamines are that they are neurotransmitters. You may also know some of them as adrenaline and noradrenaline. Now catecholamines increase heart rate as well as stimulate hematopoiesis by the same receptor. Over a short period of time, the stress response goes away and the body returns to homeostasis. But when under constant stress, the biochemical cascade continues and the immune system takes a hit. The immune system is divided into two major components. The first is the cell-mediated response. In this response, leukocytes directly attack pathogens and is very nonspecific. The other part is the humoral response, which involves releasing Y-shaped proteins called antibodies. Now these two divisions are connected by the functions of the T cells. So let's say your body gets infected by a pathogen. Eventually it is going to encounter one of your leukocytes. The cell will proceed to attack the pathogen, which will then send out a chemical signal known as cytokines. These will signal T cells to come and attach to the leukocyte. The leukocyte will let the T cell know there is an invader. The T cell will then release its cytokines to signal white blood cells. The T cell will then divide and either become the cytotoxic T cell or the helper T cell. The cytotoxic T cell kills infected cells while the T helper cells alert the B cells. When a T helper cell finds a B cell, it will attach and alert it. The B cells will then divide and become memory cells or plasma cells. Plasma cells are what release antibodies which stop pathogens in their tracks. Memory cells are saved for later in case of reinfection by the same kind of pathogen. But when the body is under stress conditions, the immune system functions differently. Immune cells and their communication are imperative for wound healing making it easier for pathogens to enter. When the pathogens are present, they will still encounter the leukocytes, but the humoral response is severely inhibited, making it easier for pathogens to slip by. So you are probably asking yourself, how do I get rid of all my stress? And the unfortunate answer is, you can't. Stress is a part of our lives, and it will be with us every day. But there are things you can do to manage stress better. Studies show that a little stress is good, but what is important is how you manage stress. First, when you are feeling stress, try to avoid excessive alcohol or caffeine. Both have been shown to exasperate the immune system. You also want to get plenty of sleep. Studies show that if you get enough rest, you will handle stress better. If you are ever in need of a nap, the university has a sleeping pod in the Dugan Center. It is also important to eat right and get enough exercise. Another great way to manage your stress is to manage your time. When you are on top of your work, it is less likely to stress you out. Studies also show that your body language can affect how you handle stress. Individuals who held a superhero pose for 5 minutes had a reduction in cortisol levels as well as performed better in subsequent tasks. Last but not least, if you are feeling overwhelmed, don't be afraid to ask for help. The university offers counseling services which can help you manage your stress. You owe it to your immune system. 
But most of all, remember, we all have stress, but we can make it work for us.